Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed. about the collection of jewelry that we see here today and what is involved in your donating these pieces? Well, we, I picked, first of all, the peacock because the peacock is protection and it's also a bird of flight. And so I figured that goes well with the, the airplane and, and bringing hope and protection to people. And so this is a, a piece with rubies, blue, sa blue sapphires, savorite, and diamonds. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. And this piece over here that we're looking at right now, the diamond ring with the diamond earrings, that's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, these are called the 19 rings. It's 19 stones. And uh, 18, all 18 karat gold, semi-precious and precious stones. Very nice. These are also some of our pieces. This is my wife. She's gorgeous. Wearing the uh, flying saucer diamond earrings. Flying saucer diamond earrings. How cute is that? And these are the spinning ball diamond earrings. This is my assistant, Stephanie. And these actually spin. So it's different different design. I don't want to rip the ear off. But it's uh, white diamonds, cognac diamonds, champagne diamonds, all. It's Very all nice. Handmade. One more time. Website. CarolynRodney.com. Two. We'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at Wings Over Haiti in East Hampton. Big champagne kisses. And I 
I'm here with the guy that made this all happen today. Introduce Where yourself to yo. <laughs> introduce yourself to the camera. Jonathan gentlemen. Glenn. Jonathan Nash Glenn. Tell my audience how you started this whole thing and the foundation. What inspired you? I mean, well, I know the story, but I want them to know. I mean, it's it's not really a matter of inspiration. It was a matter of response. It was a response to the earthquake in Haiti, and I. Uh, I felt such empathy, so I flew down uh, solo to, uh, after the earthquake, to uh, deliver medical supplies. And since then, I've met some remarkable people, including the, my two partners, Melissa McMullen and Chad St. Louis. And now we have a school with 43 children. We're buying lamb. We're expanding into a village. And we have uh, incredibly generous and remarkable support from the community and from the school systems throughout Long Island. Well, you're doing a fabulous job. And this is the very first annual That's true. Wings Over Haiti. You got it. You got it. And hopefully there'll be more coming, more, more events, more charity events. Yeah, it's a wonderful and event. And hopefully we can raise more and more money to really help these kids, right? Right. Thank you so much. Tell my audience the website for them to go to to find out more information. www.wingsoverhaiti.org. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment, dollies. More interviews coming up. Big champagne kisses. LongIslandExchange.com, right here at the Wings Over Haiti, and I'm here with this reality star, Amorosa, and you are the host for tonight's event, right? I am hosting this event. I just think it's such a great cause, which is why I'm here, and I think it's important a year after the earthquake for us to raise awareness. Now, this is the very first benefit, the first annual benefit of all time tonight. Yes, and hopefully. We won't have to have a benefit after this, right? I mean, we're going to well, support the whole cause and raise the funding and the money. Well, the reality is that we had 220,000 people who died, and there's 1.3 million people who are displaced or homeless. And so I think that we'll have to continue to lend our support and raise awareness for what's happening in Haiti. So we'll be here year after year, and we hope that your viewers will also support this cause because it is truly a needed and wonderful cause. It certainly is. And those poor little children suffering in, in Haiti, I understand that they're eating clay just to well, when, when I was last there, you know, the aid was slowly trickling in, but yes, people have resorted to doing whatever they need to do to survive. But I will say something about the Haitian spirit. They are survivors. And in spite of the terrible things that have happened, the pride and the spirit of the Haitian people have continued and sustained them. But we have to do our part as well. Tell my audience what this benefit will be doing for the, to hope to raise money for. What will they be doing if they acquire the funds. Well, what Jonathan has been doing, which I think is amazing with uh, Wings Over Haiti, has been flying supplies to Haiti, medical supplies, school supplies, all of the basic needs, including water, to Haiti, but they also opened a school. 
because I truly think the foundation of rebuilding Haiti is education. And so they built a school, and we're also raising tuition, book supplies, buildings. And, and if you contribute to this cause, just know that it will go to rebuilding Haiti so that it's stronger and much more powerful and sustainable in the future. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell my audience, where can we go on the internet to find out more information, how we could support, how we could participate, and how we can donate? Well, you can go to wingsoverhaiti.com, and you can also go to my website, omarosa.com, to get all the information you need to give back to Haiti. Wonderful. Tell my audience, are you working on anything new, any new projects? Oh, always. We are going into the second season of Omarosa's ultimate merger with Donald Trump, and I'm continuing. <laughs> Don't you just love that guy? Isn't he like the greatest Donald Trump? Don't you like people? They strive to hear him say, "Fire me," <laughs> right? Well, You're I'm fired. The, I'm the only person to have ever been fired by Donald twice on the first Apprentice and then, of course, on Celebrity Apprentice. But I will say that he is a wonderful mentor to me and a great friend, and I've learned some amazing lessons from him over the years. And I am so glad that I had an opportunity to work with him to continue to utilize what I've learned here today at Wings Over Haiti. Yes, and you know, it's so funny about Donald because I interviewed the daughter, Ivanka, and I've also interviewed Ivana also many times. And I asked Ivanka, what do you like better, the, uh, the celebrity apprentice or the regular apprentice? And she said, both. I like them both. <laughs> right? One more time, the website for Wings Over Haiti. Wingsoverhaiti.com or Omarosa.com. And I'm also on Twitter. I'll answer all your questions. You are the best. You're Thank so you fabulous. So much. And we will be back in a moment, dollars, with more interviews, more celebrities right here at Wings Over Haiti at the East Hampton studio in East Hampton, New York. Big champagne kisses. I'm Jim Lairis from the New York Yankees. What a special treat for you to come down and show your support tonight. Yes, you know what I do? Uh, I just actually flew in from Fort Lauderdale today. And, uh, they, they told me to come out here for the event. And, uh, you know, one year anniversary, of, of course, of the tragic event that happened there. But, you know, an opportunity to come out here and raise money for those over there who really need it. And I started to hear the story that happened how this developed, how the Wings of Haiti developed, and it really touched me, and I thought, you know what, I, can I come out here and be a part of it and be part of this, and it's turned out really nice. It's a fabulous event, don't you think? No, it's great. It's, you know, talking to a lot of people that have actually gone over there, when you go over there and you see the devastation, you see what's happened over there, it changes your life, and to be able to be, you know, to have things like this put together, to be able to go over and help those people, uh, you know, you can't think of anything better than for them to go to give yeah. support. It would be wingsoverhaiti.org. Fabulous. Give me a kiss, darling. We'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews coming up. Big champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.